We are collaborative. We strive for quality. We act with integrity. We are Dudley and Wars for Mental Health. Our work around encouraging staff to speak up and raise concerns was shortlisted for an award by the HSJ. We took an innovative approach and shared a real-life case study from our trust, which showcased the speak-up process from start to finish. I couldn't be happier. I am happy at work. It's nice to be able to come into work and not feel sick anymore and not worry about what it's going to be like. OK, we can still do things wrong and we can be told the correct way. Not made to feel uncomfortable. There's none of that now. I would say talk to somebody about it for definite. Go for it. Especially if you've got the backing of someone to help you in the process. I would say go for it now. Don't be put off by your banding. We're all human. We should be treated equally and in the right way. No one deserves to be bullied or intimidated by anyone. So go for it and don't be afraid. It might be a rocky road, but it's worth it. We had fantastic staff survey results, which we were delighted to share with staff. We were rated as the best trust in the Black Country and best specialist mental health and LD trust in seven out of 10 areas. This year we have had our biggest response rate to date and with 64% of our staff completing the survey, we are looking forward to seeing the results. The wellbeing of our staff is at the heart of what we do. We have appointed a full-time staff wellbeing lead and developed a brand new health and wellbeing strategy. We have also introduced offers such as playing football and netball and workshops such as coping with bereavement and developing resilience. We have successfully become a smoke-free organisation. Smoking is not permitted across any of our sites and we have worked closely with our experts by experience during this process. We offer smoking cessation support to both our staff and patients. We are very proud of our new service developments, which include a Black Country-wide perinatal mental health service, our TMS provision, the launch of our liaison and diversion services and an expansion of our adult neurodevelopmental services for people with ASD and ADHD. These new developments are making a real difference to our patients. The best way I can describe it is like having an invigorating shower. So when you come out of the shower, you, you, you feel alive. Before I had TMS, it was like I had a head full of cotton wool. My mind was all clouded. After a, a number of treatments, that fog lifted and suddenly I could see everything in clear, you know, clear vision again. So it was like going from a standard definition TV to a super high resolution TV. My whole world came back into focus again. For me, it's been a life changer. Unfortunately, I went into crisis during my last trimester. However, the perinatal team were able to support me to keep me safe when I really needed it. The service continues to help me to stay well as I've constantly received support when I've needed it. The service has been important to me because without the specialist support, I would have become unwell. This could have led to me being separated from my family at such an important time. Morning, you okay? Yeah. On International Men's Day in November 2019, we released a short film called Breaking Point, which highlights how dangerous it is to ignore the warning signs of depression and encourages people, particularly men, to seek help sooner rather than later. The film was incredibly successful and reached over 44,000 people on Facebook and resulted in a significant increase in referrals to both Dudley and Morsel talking therapists. No, 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 I'm not okay. We utilised the film as a way of launching a digital offer for patients who require access to our psychological therapies. The Silver Cloud platform allows patients to access online CBT from the comfort of their own home and allows them to work with an online therapist who will guide them through a range of modules, including space from depression and space from anxiety. Our ABEs get involved with lots of different things and one of the, um, one of the most recent things that was identified was the amount of activities available 
um, on the ward for patients. So lots of activities taking place, lots of groups um, to help patients um, as part of their recovery journey once they're off the ward. But actually we looked at um, what was available on the ward. Uh, one of the feedback that we gained was that patients found it beneficial to uh, write down their positive thoughts and positive ideas and, and brainstorm, get some mood boards going. And we wanted to make sure that that, that was uh, amplified and was available to lots of different patients. So one of the projects we looked at was doing our, our tree mural, which gave the opportunity for patients to, to get all their thoughts down, get their positive words and their ideas, but on a bigger scale so that it could be shared with other patients and actually future patients. We found with the general groups, the art groups, that it's quite popular for people to um, get a, a big piece of paper and write down their, their thoughts and, and their, their ideas and their dreams, their hopes um, and that kind of transferred over to the tree. It's been a really fun project um, and I think it's been beneficial to the well-being and positive outcome research. It's, it's been enjoyable. On World Suicide Day, we launched our Zero Suicide Ambition, which aims to reduce the number of patient suicides across our services and also to reduce the number of non-patient suicide. A brave member of staff filmed a short video talking about his experience when his partner committed suicide and we have encouraged staff to make a Zero Suicide Pledge. We've also handed out wristbands and lanyards which say, Every Life Matters to Me and feature the hashtag DWMH Zero Suicide Ambition. In addition to this, we have enhanced our suicide prevention training programme and held a trust-wide learning event to share best practice in this area. As part of our commitment to both staff and patient safety, all of our inpatient wards have recently had new alarm systems fitted. So some of the positives of this new alarm system is um, it is quicker to react. So as a staff member, you feel safer, you pull in the alarm, you know immediately that staff are going to come. Whereas the old call-up system, you sometimes would pull the alarm um, and it might not be loud enough for staff to hear. You don't know where staff are going to respond to. As staff, you don't know where you're responding to, which is another positive of the new one because you can immediately look at the panel and know where you're going to. So another new feature of the alarm system is in every bedroom there is a call point. Um, where a patient can press the call point button and it again will send a sensor to the panel uh, and make staff aware that they're in need in their bedroom of some assistance. Again, staff will respond to the alarm and when it is deemed safe enough, you just press the blue button again to turn it off. An open and transparent culture plays a pivotal role in our approach to improving and developing our people and services. We've developed a robust approach to embedding lessons and have recently launched a new series of videos to share and reinforce key messages. We are looking forward to our future and our merger with Black Country Partnership. We have already been working closely together on things such as recruitment and retention, joint quality improvement and embedding our new electronic patient record system. The future is most definitely bright for Black Country Healthcare NHS Foundation Trust.